Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I am officially back in the UK and I'm so excited today to show you this. You guys know that I'm going through a body transformation. I've been trying to save money and also learn to cook this year. There's a whole long list of New Year resolutions. I eat out all the time and I'm trying to learn how to cook. And I think I found the answer to what I'm looking for that would motivate me to want to cook. The answer is Hello Fresh. I am so, so excited when they reached out to me to ask me to try some of the items on their menu. These are the answers to my prayers because I've been on the struggle bus. If you watch what I spent in a week, you would know how much I eat out. This is the motivation that I need. So they've also given me a code which I'll add right here, which is HONG60. My code will give you 60% off on your first box and then the next free box you can get 35% off using my code. I'll make sure to add my code and a link down below on the description box if you guys are interested. They have a wide selection of recipes that you can select from. I picked three different type of meals that I would want to try. I'm a chicken poultry type of girl. I just received a delivery today. I wanted to show you some of the items that I got. There are three meals that I've ordered and you can portion size them depending on how many people you're trying to cook for. I'm just cooking for myself. Uh, once I open the box, it is nice and neatly packaged individually so you know what recipe it's for. And you also receive the recipe cards which will show you how to cook the item, what is included in each of the package. I got roast chicken and potato in gravy. Oh my God, doesn't that look fucking divine? So this whole box alone is just one meal which is my roast chicken. I'm not going to cook that today. I'm going to save that for a Sunday roast. I just opened my second box and these are the two other menus that I got. I was so excited when I saw this as one of their options. This is right up my alley. So I also picked the Thai style pork rice bowl. Oh, doesn't this look amazing? I went on a date with someone and they cooked me chicken Thai basil. It made me fall in love with like Thai food. That has been playing on my mind ever since. Now I've got the recipe for it. The other meal that I got was the veggie bean chili with rice. That looks amazing. You know I'm Asian, so I love like anything rice. It just looks like it's got so much flavor. I wanted to choose this option because I wanted one that's a vegetarian. So I'm so, so, so excited. I also got some masala, honey, blueberries, and pumpkin seed. That is for breakfast. Everything is nice and cutely packaged, so you know it is well proportioned. The instructions look really easy. I think it's so useful that you get to keep the recipe. If you know me, you know that I'm an awful cook. Whenever I read recipes from a book, I don't know how much I need to add in or oh, is this 100 gram I don't weigh any of the items this is already set and measured and everything is well proportioned out for you so you just add every ingredient I think I'm gonna pass the flying colors <laughs> I'm actually heading out this evening so I won't be able to cook these meals right now so I'm gonna put them all in the fridge and then tomorrow we're gonna make the meal so if you want to try HelloFresh make sure you look in the description box and also use my code and the link that I provide down below which will give you an awesome discount you get 60% off on your first meal and the next free boxes that you get i'm just making a little light snack and we've got some berry yogurt bowl these are all the ingredients that i got so i literally just mixed it all up a bit of honey this has come in so handy this morning doesn't that look incredible i'm about to enjoy this so i've got enough for another serving hallelujah I feel like i haven't vlogged in such a long time i'm just getting ready to go to work because today we are in the office what is this old life that I'm returning to? So I'm used to working from home for such a long time. It's been how long? Goddamn two years. Now we're returning back to the office two times a week. And it's like oh, breaking my heart, making my bones ache. My bones are brittle. I'm not cut out for this life. But hey, we got to grind, got to work, got to make our dreams happen. While I was preparing my coffee, I got having a... Oh, I've literally got five minutes. I've been feeling some type of way and I thought, hey, let me turn on the camera and chit chat to you guys because that's what you guys are there for. You're my best friend. If you watch my vlog just before I went to Hawaii, I spoke about this guy that I liked, but he did message me back. An update regarding to that guy. No, nope, never heard from him again. Oh my God, why am I so out of breath? I've been exercising every single day. Why are you still out of breath, bitch? Ooh. I messaged him, didn't hear a reply back. He left me on unread. This is so embarrassing. Why did it play on my mind? He probably saw the notification and just delete. Whatever it is, it is the deal. But I went back into the freaking message and I unsend it. On Instagram, you can unsend messages. Now I think about it, why did I do that? I should have just left it as it was. If he goes back to the message, it will show that she's probably unsent it. It's something that's really bothering her. Well, it doesn't. Well, oh, it does bother me, but it doesn't bother me. If you understand what I mean. I got a bit of pride and I'm just like, oh, I just left it. The situation's 
whatever it is, isn't it? Just accept it. But anyway, I moved on from then. I haven't thought about him. But every single time he watches my stories, I'm like, hmm. Okay, that's not the point of what I'm trying to explain. There was this other guy that I mentioned to you about that is a 29 year old boy. I can't say that he's a boy. It's not nice to call someone a boy, right? But there was a 29 year old guy that I said I was gonna cut out the equation because he was two young, different faces in our life. And I don't know, recently your girl's been feeling some type of way. I don't know how I feel at the moment. Let me just give you a little background about what has happened since then. This guy, obviously we like, we message here and then I see him as a friend, but a reason an Asian event happen again. I always see his face at an Asian event. Me and Sammy we was gonna go anyway. I was after my baby sister, she's like 22. I was gonna leave my car at my mum's house from my mum's house, get an Uber to the location, which is around about 10 minutes away. And I asked my sister, are you going to be at home? Because if you are, can you drop me off to this location? And she's like, oh no, bitch, I can't. Because apparently she's going to the same party as I am. This is one of the reasons why I don't like going to Asian parties. The younger crowds, the ones that in their 20s are going to the same party as me. Makes me feel goddamn old. Cougar over here still trying to bop and trot it up in the club. Part of me was feeling kind of secretly excited that my sister's going to the same place and I get to see a party with her for the first time. In the group chat that we have with my other siblings, I was like, Twee Twee, do you want to come clubbing? Come, come, come. We managed to convince her and all three of us was a bad bitch for the night. We were shaking up, it got messy. Sammy was in the toilet all night long. Her sister was effed. What was I doing? I was obviously preoccupied with this 29 year old guy. That's all I can think about on the night. First time partying my sister. We will be definitely going out again. We're planning something, can't wait. She's gone out of her comfort zone and gone to a place that I like. Next time we're gonna go to a place that she liked. When that day comes, your girl better look like a badass bitch. Throughout the night, because my friends were like, kind of drunk, the 29 year old what shall we name him well let's call him james james was taking care of us for the whole entire night you know that i'm an act of service my love language is when people do shit for me it makes me feel like i'm appreciated i'm loved i'm thought about i'm cared it makes me feel some type of way i hit a soft spot in my heart all night he wasn't drunk because he was driving that night as well he was just taking care of me my siblings and my friends every 10 minutes he'll go and get another bottle of water it just made me feel like oh you got potential. Why is this I'm noticing something that I haven't noticed before? Cut to the end of the night. Oh my God, it annoys me so much. Let me just show you an example. On my phone here, I always wear this chain. The reason why I wear this chain is because last time I was in London, my phone got stolen and snatched right out the palm of my hands. If they want to snatch this, they're dragging my body along, take me dead or alive. On this chain, there's like a little attachment here. I attach my car keys to this phone. There's like a little hook that hooks onto here. And I took out my house key left it in my car just taking my car keys thinking by the end of the night i could just open the car door and my home keys are inside my car and i can get home simple as that i carry no wallet everything's contactless my car keys and this is my bag and it gives me room to wiggle to shake to fuck it to bop whatever it is by the end of the night when i went to get my jacket i'm like all through the night i was like looking at my phone checking to see if my car keys are still there up until like the last 30 minutes that I remember. My key was on this damn phone. Got from the club to the place where I got my coat. My key was gone. Now your girl is stuck in this dilemma. I live missions impossible away. To get an Uber to my house probably cost me an arm and a leg. When I lost my key, he was just the one that's offering to go around having a look. The very first thing he said to me, don't worry, I'll get you home. Something that's such a simple gesture makes me feel all weak at the knees. We had to drop my baby sister, Jan, off home. I couldn't get in my house. My spare key was at Twee's house. Praying the Lord that I had a spare key at my mum's house. She looked and rumbled. Nope, you definitely didn't give me a key. I had to travel all the way to Twee's house, get the spare key and then go back to my house. And when you're coming home at 4am, that's the last thing you want to do, travel that far. I feel for the dude. We got the key. We hanged around with my sister a little bit. Managed to get in. I told him to spend the night. He lives quite far. The very next day that I'll take him out for lunch. Treating him for dim sum. Food tastes even better when it's free. When he was spending time with me, we were laying on the same bed and we shouldn't have. It was just comfortable. Wasn't doing anything that we wasn't supposed to be doing. 
<laughs> that ain't happened if that's what you're thinking. I just felt really comfortable, no makeup. We just had a really easy going time. It just felt like he understood me. That's where we left it. We haven't seen each other in two and a half weeks or three weeks now, but we message each other here and there. He calls me at random times. When we're on the phone, we can speak for like hours. I remember last time we spoke for like nearly two hours. This is like in my teenage years when I spoke to someone on the phone. If you know me, I hate speaking on the phone. It just feels like easy when I speak to him. You guys are probably like thinking, oh, this is, this is all happening for you. And there's a little caveat to that. I was speaking to him yesterday. I realized we're just at totally different phases in our life. Everything that I want and what he wants, it doesn't align. The guy is still young. He's still trying to change the world. He's chasing so many different dreams. I'm at a stage where I just want to settle. I just want to find a partner, enjoy my time with them, work towards getting married, having kids. Seven years difference. We're from 30 up until mid 35, you don't change that much. When I think about myself in my 20s and when I'm in my 30s, I'm a completely different human being. The way I process things is completely different. My goal in life has changed. I don't think he can give me that. It's so admirable that he wants to do all of this. One of his lead role model is Elon Musk. He wants to become a millionaire. That's your dream? My dream is just to have a kid tomorrow. <laughs> I need to have bigger dreams. <laughs> Can't even look after my own family. My mum is over here. I'm still fucking starving. I'm trying to save her life first before I can save anyone else's life. Also, one of the things that I like about him is he's younger than me. He makes me feel young. I feel that I'm quite immature for my age and I am quite young spirited. How embarrassing is this? Someone that's in their mid 30s is acting like they're in their 20s. I have to let it go. Let you go. Be free. Stop coming into my brain and living rent free. You need to go. I need to go to work. Just a little full process at the beginning of the day. Good morning, guys. We are off to the gym. I've been going on this gym journey since January. Now, your bitch has been going consistently at least four to five times a week. And now that I'm getting back into the routine of going back to work, days that I go into the office, I find it a struggle to go in the morning. I've discovered that I need to go to the gym first thing in the morning, get out of the way so it's not playing on my mind and I feel like it's working for me before I've always been like oh my god who can ever get up that early to go to the gym but now guess who that is me when I come home from work I'm like oh, I'm so tired I don't want to go to the gym and then I make excuses now if I get out of, done out of the way and it's so convenient when you're working from home let me show you my attire so your girl's wearing like a white jogger and then a jumper if you follow me on Instagram I try to show you guys my outfit of the day every single day when you feel cute at the gym you're gonna do amazing I've just made some coffee but how bougie is this flask every time like I'm at the gym people must think I'm extra and that bougie bougie I've also discovered something that I like to do before my gym session, which is take a pre-workout. I bought this brand called The Purge. I don't know if it's any good. It seems to be working. I think they all do the same thing. It gives me this tingling feeling within 10 minutes. This pushes it to another level. The flavour that I got is strawberry candy. Oh my god, it tastes amazing. I'll try to add the link down below if you guys want to try it. It does give you that extra boost of energy that you need. You know sometimes when you go to the gym, you're just like, oh, I feel very sluggish. I don't want to do this this but with this in yeah i do a bit extra it's got a lot of caffeine in there i don't know how bad or how good that is for your body it seems to be helping is try not to take it every single day because otherwise even your body getting used to it uh, today i need to decide what i want to work on i think i want to work on my legs last week i worked on my legs now when you can't walk for days people look at you and they think oh you've had amazing sex someone's done you good i'm building muscles with but i'd rather have the big o it's exactly 7 a.m strike on the clock we need to leave so if you're not moving your body you better get your ass to the gym make your body flow get active go for a walk get your body moving because you'll feel so good afterwards i've never had this urge for the gym before my mind is going for a transition slowly consistency will make a difference i'm not gonna lie i've gained weight i stepped on the scale and i was like 80 kilo how the hell am i 80 kilo i've been going to the gym consistently praying that it's muscle although i still eat like I really do need to evaluate my eating habits. That's another problem for another day. I'll deter it then. Last night, I came home and I had so much stuff that I bought from my mum's house. She gave me a load of food. I left this damn key outside of my door all night long. Someone could have stole my ear pods. That's one thing that's like over 200 pounds. Getting raped and murder my ass inside the house. Thank God I live in a safe neighborhood. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, a daily routine that I normally do on my car journey to the gym. Do an Instagram story, that's how I get my 
content. Well, I chit chat you guys. I thought I'd switch it up and do it on the vlog instead. We got around about 10 minutes drive to my gym, which is not bad. I was previously at another gym, which was taking me around about 20 minutes to get there. This one is a lot closer. And it was actually cheaper at the time to go to this gym rather than my other gym. While I was away on holiday, they freaking gave a notification. It's increasing price. So it was no longer part of my package. I had to cancel my existing membership and switch it over to this one. One of the reasons why I love it even more is because I've got a gym boyfriend. He may not know that I exist, but baby. Every time that I go to the gym and I just see his like pretty face, his fan body, he's flexing it up. I'm just like, <laughs> pick my mouth up from the floor. He is just so fine. I get weak at the knee. When I'm doing a leg workout, some days you're like, oh, I cannot be bothered to work out. I just feel so tired. And you're just at the gym for the sake of it. But every time that he's there, I'm like, okay, I gotta push a bit harder and show him what he's working with. I'm trying to impress someone that doesn't even know I exist. We've caught eye a few times. Quite embarrassing, actually. I actually went online. I was doing a bit of social media stalking. You guys might think I'm a bit cray, 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 cray. Whilst I was going to the gym, I noticed that there's this one gym instructor at my gym that always talks to him whenever he's at the gym. How could I find this guy's Insta? Get a little bit of background information. I go to my gym website. They tell you all the instructors that is at the gym. So I found the gym instructor. And they must be friends on Instagram. So I went on Instagram and I searched for the guy's name, the gym instructor. And what do you know? I found him to find my gym boyfriend, my gym bae. The gym instructor had over 600 followers. Just scrolled through the list. And trying my luck. Two thousand years later hallelujah baby i found my gym a boyfriend and he was not on private as well so i've been stalking his profile and the last picture that he's taken when you swipe right 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 all the way to the end there is a woman there he's got a baby mama that is like the question probably one of the reasons why he's never ever tried it on me and that's what you want you want a loyal husband a loyal baby daddy is that the question he's no longer mine no potential there even though i've discovered that information i still can't can't help myself every time that I'm at the gym I'm looking at you you may not know that I exist I'm here if you want me the sad news is I've been going to the gym for the last like week and a half I haven't seen his face since then whether he's on holiday I feel the likelihood is he's probably moved to another gym at 8 a.m. every single day without foul he would be at the gym and he'll take like two days rest I've been looking at this schedule considering he's a fitness fanatic and he hasn't been to the gym for a week and a half something's going down today is a Friday and we are are going out this evening i'm so so excited i'm gonna see my holiday buddies we've been catching up on whatsapp and messaging each other daily it's not the same the problem is all my friends live so far away they live in london and i live in the suburbs i don't get to see them as often so they catch up with each other way more than i can things are gonna get wild this evening i can't wait ah, who's excited i haven't seen my holiday friends Chris, Claire and Jeeves in like four weeks. And today we're catching up. So we're going to have dinner and then maybe do a bit of dancing. We're going to get drunk. We're going to get crunk. You know the saying. And we're going to get effed up. I miss them so, so much. A little catch up is desperately needed. So your girl's wearing a little black dress. I feel very snazzy in this. Like no tits alert. The amount of times that the guys have seen my boob slipperage has been uncountable. So today your girl's like wearing something high neck so that that won't happen. I brought a bikini with me because Chris's place has got a pool. We said we're gonna go and do some skinny dipping. <laughs> I'm just concerned that I have fake tan on and I said to Chris, you need to pre-warn me, are we definitely going in the pool? Because if we are, I need to shower before we leave. Otherwise, you guys are gonna be bathing in murky, dark black water. But he's like, girl, you know, there is something called a shower. I guess I can go out with a fake tan on and we'll shower it off just before we jump in the pool. I feel like I haven't worn makeup in such a long time that this is in dire need. I feel glamorous, I feel cute. It'll be a good catching up session. It is Mother's Day. And we're taking my mom actually a day early because my sister's not available tomorrow. But take my mum to lunch. Chris said she's craving abalone. Abalone is like this seafood, this shellfish. It is amazing. It's goddamn expensive. She said she's craving that, so we're treating her today. So I bought her some flowers yesterday. We put them in the kitchen. This is my ratchet ass. I realised I haven't got a vase, and I need to get one. Yes, I didn't have a vase. Will the flowers die overnight, and I had to put it in the sink? Here's my mum. Look how pretty she looks. Oh, looks so cute today. I she's got flowers. Oh, she's wearing a dress, dress today. 
Okay. Hello. The sisters are reunited. So it's been a long time since we've seen each other. Both of them look snatched. They're skinny now. Hello. Hello. It is Mother's Day today. By the time you guys probably watch this, it'll probably be like Father's Day or something because you know this video ain't going to go up anytime soon. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I love you.